Open Heavens on the Go, Monday, March 27th, 2023. Topic, your latter end shall be greater than your beginning. Memory verse, Ecclesiastes 7, 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Bible reading, Zechariah 4, 8 to 10, and Job 8, 7. Zechariah 4, 8 to 10. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. And who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice, and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. Job 8.7 Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. The message. In order of importance, your latter end is far more important than your beginning. It does not really matter how you started out. What matters is how you end up. How you end up is not a function of wishful thinking, but a product of the decisions and actions that you take today. There are steps you must take and sacrifices you must make if you want to become great. Believe me honestly, if you only wish and pray that things will turn around and don't do what you ought to, nothing will change. Solomon in 2 Chronicles 1, 6-15 gave an offering nobody had ever given and got a blessing nobody had ever gotten. It is very clear that if you are willing to pay the price, if you are willing to change your story for the better, your end will be far greater than your beginning. Genesis 32, 3-7 records that Esau got a remnant of the blessing, yet by the time he was meeting Jacob again, he came with 400 bodyguards. By the time you get to Genesis 33, 4-9, after both brothers had embraced each other, Esau turned to Jacob and said he didn't need the latter's gifts because he had enough. Clearly, Esau had gained dominion and broken his brother's yoke on his neck, as his father has said in Genesis 27:40. The lay reader is the lowest rank in the hierarchy of the Anglican Church, and this was my father's role in the church many years ago. Today, by the special grace of God, I, the son of a lay reader, now walk side by side with the leader of the Anglican Communion, the Archbishop of Canterbury, to re-evangelize Britain. Such a promotion could only have been ordered by God. Beloved, draw close to God and be diligent so that your end can be far greater than your beginning. I prophesy into your life, your latter days shall be greater than your beginning in Jesus' name. Key point. What you are doing now will determine if you will end up greater than you started out. Bible reading in one year. First Samuel 17 to 18. Hymn for today. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.